the number one thing for you to do this week is get your rough draft done. So get that rough draft done, turn it in as soon as you can, and then you need to make your adjustments and turn in your final draft by Sunday. It's Easter Sunday, so maybe we'll make it to uh, Monday. But I need to get that in. I need to do the final grade and get to IB. So please get that in ASAP as soon as possible. Okay? Got to show IB what you found out, please. So check out. Got some cool uh, animations here for you to do today on your Google Doc. First is look at this um, graph here. What does this dotted line represent? Just state that. And you've heard a lot about flattening the curve, okay? That's what, that's why you're staying home, to flatten the curve. So what does that mean? Use that, uh, the animations to, you know, give yourself a nice, give a nice explanation of that. So go ahead, fill out your uh, warm-up and come on right back. Make sure you pause this and go back. Well, welcome back. So the dotted line, you'll see it's, it's the healthcare system capacity. And what that means is are there are there enough workers? So doctors, nurses, all the other jobs, different techs in the hospital. Uh, are there enough hospital beds, places for people to go when they're really sick? And uh, oh, personal protective equipment. I just tried to get, um, you know, I just started wearing a mask. The, uh, yesterday when I was at the grocery store, most people are wearing those now, but I don't know where to buy them. I mean, they're they're sold out in most places. So uh, all the masks, all the gowns, all the face shields, um, it's a problem. You know, our medical uh, people uh, haven't been able to get them very easily. So uh, by you staying home, you're basically doing what you see in this animation. You're just slowly taking yourself out of the viral transmission game. And as you take each person out, it makes a big difference. So this right on the left is if we do nothing. If we go about business as usual, you'll see us get above that um, system capacity. So we want to flatten the curve like you see here. You still have cases, right? but they're spread out over time. And you don't go above that capacity. So you have people are gonna die at less, uh, lower rate because they're getting the right care. If we don't do anything, you just see this huge slug right here of people. It's more likely that people, more people get infected, people will die, and we don't want that. And it doesn't need to be that way. By taking these measures, by staying home, you're really being a hero and helping to keep these infections. Because uh, as you see, as you go from one person, all these transmission events from going about their daily life, we'll say this is 250 cases roughly. But this is you staying home from school. You don't get infected. That means all of these people, all of these people, all of these people don't get infected just from this one person staying home, one out of three. So that is being a hero. Please stay home. And if you get more people, person here, person down here, you take more and more people out of the loop. So maybe instead of 250, you get something like 40. So that's a huge, um, huge difference. And that can really, really is what you need to think about when you are staying home is you're doing everything you can. Let the people, their designated uh, critical infrastructure do their work. You do your work doing these lessons, hang in there best you can. Um, I look forward to talking with everybody at our new meeting time, one o'clock on Wednesday. So uh, I'll be talking more about the IA. I'll be getting back into um, uh, doing the rough draft, going over the rough draft and getting those back to you. I think I have uh, four done so far. So hopefully see a lot more rough drafts roll in today and uh, I'll grade those and get those out to you. So. Uh, please, please just sit down and just get started on those on the rough drafts and get them done. Uh, and make sure you send me a remind message if you have any questions. All right, I'll see you on Wednesday.